Da 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 da. I don't know. Da 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 da. What happened? I got most of it, but I think, like Lost, they almost wrote themselves into a corner and weren't entirely sure. And and like I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe that was the whole thing. Maybe they just wanted to confuse the shit out of you, so a lot of people had different ideas. But I think Alan Wake switched deadness with his girlfriend and uh-huh. he's now like stuck in random shadow place mm-hmm. dimension where he's just gonna write stuff poetry for the rest of his life man uh the doctor well how did you feel about homework James? I fucking did it oh it wasn't bad yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Like, towards the end there, like I said, to me, it just felt like they were just dragging it out longer. Yeah, uh, just the freaking, like, going from the world it room to fucking the cabin. Yeah. They're just going, hey, you gotta go all the way back to where you came from. It's like, oh, I can understand and the I mean, reason can, for doing yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but you can definitely tell uh, <laughs> the shortness of temper I had <laughs> for much of that final playthrough. <laughs> Like I said, the thing with me was it just, it, even though I was, I was trying to be fairly forgiving now and then, it was just like, you know, you'd, you'd start to get on a run and you're just like, you know, the end is in sight and then, yeah. plah, I think do it, it, was, it, was, it was very, it was coupled a lot with just um, knowing exactly how they were going to throw shit at me all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, just a, a general want for the, the game to be finished. Uh, if I was playing it, just kind of, you know, for not like this. I probably would have gone and, you know, done it in smaller chunks and yeah, taken would, more than have, two play sessions to it, finish it, you yeah, know. It wouldn't have felt as, like, I don't know, pushed, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like I, said, I, I actually remember, like, just from, like I said, when I did my first playthrough. Yeah. I actually remember fucking, uh, you know, that last level. Because I, I did that all in, like, one hit. Yeah. So I think I only had, like, two or three game sessions myself before I finished the game. Yep. And it was just getting through that last level, and I'm just like, please, can I just fucking be past this shit? Yeah. I just want to <sighs> get to the point that I'm reading about in these fucking pages and see what happens. Yeah, and I just... I, I, I don't know. I'm... Just, there, there was like a couple of moments where I was just, oh really? I, yeah. Obviously, because I went, oh really? Um, but no, on on the whole, it was a, a pretty good game. Mm. Um, and uh, fuck that bulldozer! <laughs> <laughs> that bulldozer was horror. Mm. It was horror, Nick. That that was that true was, horror that, genre. That was the pure right horror. there. Like that that was. That was, although there was more frustration than terror at the end. <laughs> oh man! There we go. We've, we've fucking done what, Alan Wake. What was what was your standout moment, Nick? <laughs> I'm really torn because, I mean, my favorite part of the game itself is mm. is the, the fight on the stage. Yeah, like that that like holding on thing, but. I think my favourite moment of this playthrough mm-hmm. is way back in episode two yeah. when you managed to get to like uh, the light when you were getting hammered yeah, yeah. for a little bit, and just as you got there, like two axes in quick <laughs> succession just went thump thump <laughs> as you got into the light. So uh, I think that was my favourite moment of the whole playthrough. Uh, that was pretty fun. I, I I did enjoy scaring you from time to time. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> The amount of times that it looked like you were just going to happily frolic off the end of a cliff. <laughs> no, I, just... I, like, I, I, didn't, uh, I I enjoyed how the thing you found scariest about uh, the last level, or, or the thing that really took me <laughs> by surprise, was I saw a car coming and I stopped just before it and it, it hit the thing. And I mean, why are we talking about this? It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> just happened. I said it was the scariest thing in that whole level when it happened. So, so Remedy, what... I wonder what they'll do next. I haven't heard anything about what they're doing. Like, they did Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Oh, that's right. They did more uh, Alan That Wake was stuff. like a standalone thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I have to do um the DLC and check that out, and then maybe take a look at American Nightmare and see if it's got anything to do with the story. Yeah, or whether it's just testing. a thing. Um, 
but we'll have to um we'll have to do like I don't know some bonus shit like just bonus episodes where we we go through the um the DLC I think. Yeah, I think they'll probably be condensed, more condensed though. They'll like, probably not quicker. not full playthroughs. This is going to be probably the only full playthrough we do for a while. Mm. Um, and I think the any anything else we do is probably going to be like more cut down, kind of you know showcasing some moments from whatever we've decided to play. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Eric sandwich. And I'm gonna have to just answer the call of nature I'm about now. <laughs> Alright. You go. I'll just be here. <laughs> watching the credits. Ramon Romero was additional user researcher. Brandon Morris. Marketing and per. <laughs> Steve Wynn. <laughs> just go. I... Just go. Ugh. Uh... What a wonderful journey this has been for everybody. We laughed, we cried, we swore, we swore. It was okay. So yeah, don't forget, um, we do a podcast, which you can check out at www.thenerdtrain.com. And we also, uh, well, I I do a, a webcomic at fancyadventures.com. And we have Twitter and Facebook and email. And you can use them all. It's, uh, it's probably what Nick would say word for word. Probably what he'd say. Oh, welcome back. Yo. How'd it go? Pretty well. I like the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty well. Pretty <laughs> well. <sighs> oh, man. Microsoft Localization Japan, that's what I wanted to know about. <laughs> now, this is what I've been waiting for the entire game. Young Hoon Software Shin. test engineer Fujiko Kawanama Nama Go Kamatsu! Go Kamatsu! Guy's a champ. Yeah, he's pretty good. 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 I think so. Or I, I believe they did, but I cannot remember what. <laughs> so. I mean, I guess if you count Max Payne 1 and 2, yeah. uh, their facial animation skills have come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Considering Especially how... since the first one, the where it was like a, a picture of the dude's face for Max, each thing. Max Payne thing. with the eternal smirk. Yeah. Like they'd like switch <laughs> out for different textures for facial emotions. Yeah. Every now and then. Sony Deluxe Sign Music Group. Man, how many people work on this game? A lot of people. Uh, I mean, I was initially thinking maybe we should leave the credits in. I I, I thought, think because credits would be good. Like, you know, we, you we know, went through this whole thing. At least yeah. let the people who made it. Let the people who made it get seen. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're at special thanks, I guess. Yeah, so. we're, special, we're, we're at the we thanks. We can't be so I, Josh I Goldberg, be Kelly Bell... Far. Shane Kim, remember that guy? Sure. What about Todd Stevens? No. And the Wake Specials. Wake like Specials? Oh, oh, I suppose that would be the, uh, the, the DLC, DLC like yeah. The extra, like in Act 1 and 2. Mm. Well, the team suits look pretty small. They probably would be. Most of the yeah, assets would already be made. A lot so. of it would already be made, so they just have to kind of use them again. Yeah. Yeah, Tony Elias, I'm going to remember your name, because if, if your writing gets dodgy during the DLC stuff, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna make sure everyone knows it was you. <laughs> it's, pro it's probably just like the same writer for all the the, the Remedy stuff, man. Yeah, probably. I, I, I don't think... Because, you know, he was the guy who had the uh, the face of Max Payne in the first game. 
Oh, remember? The, yeah, oh, yeah, that, that yeah, was his face. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Not it's really bad. weird when he came up to give the Microsoft keynotes and it was like a scrawny Max Payne. Max Payne. <laughs> like, with like this thick accent telling everyone how they've made like this story about a writer and how writing is really important to him. Mm. I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> and I didn't actually see like much to do with this game before it came out, honestly. Oh god, it's been so long. Um, yeah, I just remember not really thinking much of it until... Uh, like it came out, yeah. and I knew a few other people. Yeah, that got um, it, it, well, it, it'd been in production since after Max Payne Two. Basically, mm. it took like maybe a year later, and they announced that they were working on Alan Wake, and it was meant to be like scary. And um, and then a bit later, they announced it at E3, and it was all, "Hey, we got this game coming out. Mm. It's going to be on Xbox and PC." And then later on, they went Xbox only, and then afterwards, Remedy bought the game back from Microsoft and yeah, uh, put it on back. PC, which is how they always intended it. And, um, yeah, here we are. Apparently they sold more copies once it came out on Steam than they ever did on the Xbox. Oh, okay. It really didn't get much coverage for the Xbox. Yeah, I know it did not get much media. Because, I mean, I, I actually, it was one of those games that I know that, yeah, I didn't even realize it was out until yeah. after people told me they had it. Yeah. And, you know, they only had it because they kind of went into a store and went, oh, a new kind of horror game. Hey, we we haven't had a good one of them for a long time, so. I don't think this is very much of a horror game. No, it's more a thriller. Mm. Yeah, thing. maybe it would have been scarier if I was on my own. Yeah, just sitting there with the lights off. Yeah. Just by yourself in some random room. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, think, you know I think the biggest scare I ever got when I was playing the game and I was playing it at your place ages ago when you first got to the next box and we yeah, went through right. the first like, through, like the first, first act two, and a yeah. half and um some dude came out of the bathroom and scared the hell out of me <laughs> yeah. and uh that was but like i knew it was coming but because of how bad you jumped then i fucking jumped as well i remember so <laughs> 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 i didn't jump that much this time i i i had an inkling that it was happening but it's still a jerk move man mm I did have a couple of times when the dude would shop and I was like, <laughs> But we made it. Mm. We did it. And, uh, Pretty awesome. We didn't die that much. Mm. Yeah, I guess in retrospect, uh, dying was fairly localized to certain parts. And even then, it wasn't too bad. Like, like we didn't do a fuck we dying all the time, throw the control pad down and walk away for a bit or anything. Well, I almost did. <laughs> With the goddamn bulldozer. Took, took my anger out on the bulldozer yeah. instead. Is this ever going to end? <laughs> I was wondering. It's like feeling like that last level now. I just... Like, I just, shit. I just want these credits to end so we can... Oh, shit, now up. the voice talent's turning up? In order of appearance. Wow. I, I expected this to be at the start and that I just missed it because I was tooling around. Yeah, me too. But I guess not. I'm kind of looking for, like, names to see if I know anyone. Night Springs Cultist number two was Richie... V Vince... Yeah, Richie. <laughs> it was Richie. <laughs> it was all Richie. Alan Wake likeness, motion capture, and live action. Kikavilli. Kikavilli. Someone. Someone, people. Animation Rimson. Harry Garrett. Sure. Oh, that's right. Rider in the cabin. Kikavilli, Alan Wake. Night Springs. I feel kind I of bad for not watching those. Yeah, but... I was going to say, I do want to watch the Night Springs stuff at some point. Because, mm. I don't know, they seem like they added to it well enough. I figured there are other YouTube videos for that. Yeah. Yeah. Family friends. Man, there is so many things. Character models. All that contribution in the project. Three people. Oh, and oh. more. Mikhail Wahlberg. I read that as Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark like, Wahlberg. Just going, I've talked to animals. <laughs> Mark, Mark, y'all. Talk Rex to animals. Sikora, I'm really good at singing. Richard Huddy. And don't forget Wolfgang <laughs> Engel. Alexei Badev, nickname Chili Vodka. <laughs> that is the best nickname. How do you get that nickname? Probably from drinking Chili Vodka. Uh, A lot of Chili Vodka. All game and cinematic music composed, arranged, mixed, and recorded by that guy. 
except Pot and the Muse, Sharon of the Outer Guard, Coconut, <laughs> In Dreams, Coconut, Air Kissing. I need to get the soundtrack for this. Yeah, yeah, it had a pretty good soundtrack. Shady Grove. Inside of town. How? We got. We gotta be the final stretch, man. How yeah. can I be sure? I don't know. It just. It has to be. Backbone. The Rumble Strip. Oh, hey! Oh, shit! Wait. The Sudden Stop, written by Alan Wake. What? Departure. That, Written that by Alan an Wake. actual dude called Alan Wake. Alan Wake's journey no, through the this, night this so will not. continue. This journey will continue throughout the night. In your hearts and minds. Through the night. Till the dawn. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys. Thanks for sitting through that with us. Hope to see you next thing we make. And I'm sure we'll probably put out other things before... This is done. So you, this is done. Yeah, you're beautiful. We love you. Good night.